Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We got a brand new series here playing the joke mod here in Alpha 20. Starting a brand new world and I'm really, really excited to see where this one goes. I don't honestly know that much about this mod. I saw a little bit when Nag was playing it and I'd read a little bit on it. Like for instance, uh, let's see, you basically don't have an infection anymore, but you can see this icon over here is your stench meter, your foul stink. It's pretty much like the infection, except for you can't entirely get it to go away. If you don't wash your stanky self, after a little bit, it pretty much just is not good for you after you get to certain levels. This is the joke mod, so a whole huge host of things have been changed in this game, and there's new zombies, there's new POIs, there's new questing system, a lot of the items have been renamed. You can see down in the, the uh, toolbar down there, for starters, it's got a little bit bigger toolbar, a little bit bigger backpack, bigger crafting area, etc. But you can see a lot of the things have been changed here. So we have Papa Riz's Poo Tea. That sounds fantastic. We have KP Buns. We got some tube socks. I Oh, these cure dysentery. That's that's interesting. This is going to take a little while to get used to what each of those do. All right, we got a berry bandage. That helps with health and abrasion stuff. Okay, so that's probably good to keep you here. We got a finger gun. We got a finger gun, guys. This literally, it uses nails as a, an ammo source here. And if you hold it out, listen to this. Pew! <laughs> it goes pew in this little bitty kid's voice. That That's just fantastic. I'll keep the torch with me for now. Land claim block and a note stuck between your butt cheeks. Hey, bruh. Found you passed out inside the road. Figured you'd need your stuff, so I pawned it. Sucks to be you, nerd. Thanks. Much love. That's fantastic. So yeah, whoops, I need to probably not do that. I need to gather some wood here. We got to get through the basic levels, uh, the basic level starting stuff. Now this one, they renamed it the children's basics of survival. Cause yeah, if you're starting a survival game at this point, you don't know how to do the basic level stuff here. You're, you're kind of behind the curve. So we got to gather a few resources, make a few things it wants us to do here. Let's go ahead and get a few things going. Bedroll looks more like a body bag. It is a body bag. Okay. Fantastic. So our first thing we're going to do is put down a body bag and then I'll pick you back up and take you with me. Fiber axe. I can go ahead and make one of those. Uh, scoot you over here a little bit. Can make you down there. Craft a fiber knife. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a little bit new. I guess it may be similar to like the bone knife. I could use for some good stabby stuff. And magically, you know where the traitor is. Yeah, head there. Maybe he has a part-time job for you. Hopefully, it's not wrecked. That dude's one miserable human being. I agree. He is. And he's only 481 meters away. So maybe we should probably head this direction. And, oh, wait. Do we get any skill points? We did. We got the skill points. Okay, so there's only the basic level stuff. Cool. So I'm kind of learning this as we go here. Now, you see we have the Joker section underneath all the skill points, which... You, you see some of the stuff they have here. We're going to be learning that as we go. The perk books are as they were. And then you have the schematics where apparently you can only learn how to make certain things like most things in this game with an actual schematic. So if we don't find schematics, we're kind of going to be done for. So I hope you guys are around for this. I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and put this out there now, that I'm going to do this as a mini series to start with. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to try and go for like a 40 or 50 episode series in this one. Um, since it is kind of the joke mod, I kind of want to, whoops, wrong button. I kind of want to start off with just a little bit of a slower series to start with. And if it does really well, we'll keep it going. But if not, maybe we'll do like through the first two Horde Nights, you know, something like that to keep life very, very simple before we move on. But if you guys do enjoy the series and you're really, really into it, and go ahead and grab some iron while I'm here just in case I need it, a few rocks. But if you're really, really into it and you like it and you want to see some more of this, do me a favor. You know, leave some likes on the video. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Share it out. Um, watching the video all the way through to the end helps out with retention and stuff like that. So, you know, if it's something you want to see more of, stick around for it because... Starting this week, I'm going to do one of this video every single day. Since we've been able to do the bonus uploads, as I've been calling them. Hello? Since we've been doing the bonus uploads, for the first week of this, I want to put out one of these every single day of the week. And Monday through Friday, that way for everybody who does like it and you really enjoy the series, you don't have to wait very long to be able to get into it. You don't have to wait for the next episode is what I mean. So, I'm really excited about this. I, I had a great time playing the Winter Warrior. 
Uh, it was a really, really challenging series. Had a couple very close calls with some wildlife. Now, I know this mod also has a bunch of new wildlife, too. Uh, you know what? I should probably I should probably use my skill points to help out with some things here. But let's get kind of started with some skill points. Uh, let me see. I want to put one into Lucky Looter. Since I have to rely on schematics, it'd probably be a good idea to have that there. Uh, let's see. Probably one into Pummel Pete just to start with. Uh, I hate always starting off with the same ones, but these are like really useful and probably master shit. Uh, I should probably put it into. Uh, I should probably put it into pain, uh, healing factor. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, I hate to do that. Okay, so now what I can do is I can make a level two wood. Give me a little bit better bonk stick. I can put you up there, put you down there, and we'll go like that. We'll keep the finger gun in case anything comes running up at us. I don't honestly know what all zombies are here. I know that the uh, the one of the hints said that there's Karens roaming about. Now we don't need any hop seeds. So I don't know what that actually entails. I know that there are clowns in this series, but I again, I don't know how bad they are. I don't know if it's a reskin of a zombie. We're, we're kind of learning a lot of that as we go together. So I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to say this, that if you know a lot about this mod, if you're an expert in the joke mod, Try not to give too many spoilers. Is that a giant snail? It's a trail. <laughs> it's a trail snail. I don't know what you do. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about this here. Okay, so... Uh, I don't know if killing this thing gives me anything or not, but I kind of have to do it since it's here. A little power attack. And... Dunskies. Okay, uh, let's see. If I beat him up, do I get anything for it? I get a little bit of raw meat. That's not bad. And a little bit of XP. Okay, so raw meat is what we get from that and the XP for it. Okay, all right. Well, we know what happens if you kill a snail trail. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's just lovely. I don't, know, I don't know what this building is just yet. But we'll try and keep... Okay, we got a... Got a couple hobblers. I see Kyle, uh, Kyle over there and old Brucey boy here. Yeah, see, we got the life bar up at the top for these idiots and stuff now. So we can tell what their, you know, programmed name is. But we all know that the names that I gave them is the correct name. I mean, let's let's just be serious here. The names that I gave the zombies is the official, unofficial names that most of you probably use in your own playthroughs. It's just the way it is. <laughs> now, that's one of those things that's like, it's absolutely fantastic when I hear that some of you guys use some of the same names I do for your zombies. Hello? Oh, crap! Okay. Oh, we got skeletons! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love that I hadn't seen them yet. <laughs> oh, and he dropped a bag for me. Oh, that's fantastic. Something good? Some ammo. Uh, I don't really need the brass. I might be able to sell it to do. I'll take all the stuff he has just in case. Uh, let me see. I'll probably go ahead and grab a little bit of wood. Free wood's always good. It's literally just kind of sitting here. It's extra XP. We need to level up as much as possible. And that reminds me. To keep the early grind at a minimum, I did go ahead and crank the XP gain up to 200%. So we can, you know, kind of progress through the very early level stuff uh, without having to spend a lot of time grinding. And what in the hell is up with this car that's right here in front of me? I got to go check this out real quick. I probably need to make a bow pretty soon here. Let me, let me see. Can I make a bow? Make a primitive bow. Yep, I can make one of those. And stone crossbow bolts. Nope, that's not the right one. I need some arrows. Should be able to make a chunk of those. Or seven. Seven. You know what? Hang on. Isn't there... Ooh, we have to beat this down real quick. Maybe early on you have a chance of getting honey from stumps. It would probably behoove me to have some this very early on. Just in case um, I end up getting an infection or... I guess infection is not really the right word, since that's not in the game anymore, is uh, getting my stench meter up a little bit. I, I don't know. Okay, that gave me three rocks. I need to repair this. That's going to go down a little bit here. Okay, so stone arrows. I can make ten of those. That's not too bad. Put you down there and get some stone arrows. You know what? I'm going to put you down here so I'm not tempted to use you just yet. Okay, so we have a few arrows. Nothing dramatic. What is this car? Dude, 
Look at the skin of this card. That is, that looks like, I don't even know what that looks like, but it looks fantastic. I really like that. Nice repair kit early on. Okay, got a couple wanderers, idiots out that way. I should probably, oh my God, is that a, hold on. Dude, do you see how tall that screamer is? Look how tall she is. She's taller than the freaking hut. <laughs> She's between me and where I need to get to. Oh my God. Is that what is known as the Karens? Holy sweet Jesus. Um, <laughs> by the way, in case I didn't say it, this isn't a permadeath series. I'm fully aware that the concept of death may happen. So if it does, well, let's just hope we don't die, of course. But if it does happen, I got money. Nice. I can sell that. Pick up this rock. All right. Let's kind of scooch out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh crap. Oh, God. I don't know how much life this chick has. And I'd also, I don't know if that's traditional screamer, as in, you know, she'll call some of her buddies in. If we got screamers showing up this early on, bad things can happen. All right, let's see if we can take out Lieutenant Dan. Holy crap, it is actually Lieutenant Dan. I've been calling him that for a little bit, um, based on the recommendation of some of you guys. Some of the names I do get from you guys. All right, let's see if we can't take out Bambi in one shot here. Oh, it was a little high. What? This bow does not ha has more drop than that, does it not? Oh, what? Hang on, I think I see a clown over there. Hang on, okay. Uh, we gotta before we go over and accidentally piss off the gigantic creature that's walking around. What the hell is that thing? Hang on. Late. Hold on, we got a blinking red light. That's not a big deal. What is that thing over there? I don't know. Is that a clown? It's a clown. Okay, well, uh, and there's uh, another weird looking cart. Let's go say hi to the clown. Dead inside clown clone. <laughs> he freaking honks when you hit him. <laughs> Nutshot. Oh, his, his nuts don't honk though. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's fantastic. All right, I'm already liking this a lot. What are you? Postal truck. Uh oh, hang on. I hear something coming up here. <laughs> sure, I'll take the plastic parts. Who's coming at me now? I have to be a little bit cautious because it could be anybody. Uh, I was going to try and get... What's up, Bruce? Clack! I haven't exactly decided yet for this particular play. He did. For this particular playthrough, which weapon choice I want to go with. I start off with the bongs because it's the easiest to kind of work with this early on to deal with the idiots that are running up on you. But I don't know for certain if I want to go for like sledgies or if I want to make myself a, like a police baton. I don't know because I'm not quite sure what all is in this yet. Ooh, that could be useful. I can make a bunch of arrows out of that. Hang on. Oh, three. What am I? Oh, I'm low on the feathers. I need to get some more feathers. I haven't seen that many nests over here, but we'll keep an eye out for them. I think there's a skeleton. Could be a dead one, like right there. Hang on. Let's see if we can do it. What you doing, buddy? Um, I, now I kind of have to see. Wow, you get a decent amount of XP for beating up somebody else's skeleton. Cool. All right, there's a couple more feathers. Get some more feathers this way by beating the nest. Now, hang on, don't hit me yet. Whoever's coming at me, you be nice. Kyle, don't come tweaking out over here. I may have to go in and do some edits to this a particular mod and give these zombies the right names. I mean, come on. All right, so uh, we'll do 10. That way I can hang on to a few rocks in case I need to repair a few things, which would not probably be a horrible idea to go ahead and repair that since I'm kind of using it. What's up, chicken? Got another wonky looking vehicle right over here. I'm trying to keep an eye on the you know, on the ground here for nest as I'm running and also other things. So skeletons and clowns are in the game, but they're not too bad. There's a giant screamer. I don't know. Maybe that's the Karen. 
Maybe that's with Karen. <laughs> oh, also, if you didn't notice in the top left-hand corner, we have the your current level, your loot stage, and the number of times that you've died. Ooh, more nails. Since nails are ammo for the handgun, which is fantastic, by the way, we need to keep as many of those as possible. Take you, take you. Uh, Y'all can just do your thing. I need to get over to the trader, uh, complete this little quest here, and we'll get the experience for it. Maybe I can sell a few things. Ooh, nice. Probably gonna need that before too long. Okay, is it just you two? All right. Arlene, hit you right in the old dome. I see Frank over there too. Whoops, we're just beating on grass at this point. You know, something I always forget when I very first start off a brand new game is, hey, by the way, you can't use power attacks on every single hit. It's not good for you. But one of the things that's been changed is the uh, traders now look a little bit different, and they don't have protection anymore. So if you're inside the traders, the zombies can get in. The zombies can kill the traders. They don't have, like, you know, you can beat down the walls. They don't have that level of protection like they standard uh, standardly. That's a word, Cap. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, are you working? I don't have any coins. Why can't I use regular... Can I wait? Can I use regular money in this? Oh, what do we have in... Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Stuff that would be kind of good. What's a peachy pop? Water, stamina regen. So it's basically just water for 48 monies. Uh, I don't have enough to buy that. Everything's highlighted as if I could. Okay, you're unlocked. All right, since this is kind of new, we're going to explore this together here. Let's see, get a little bit of gasoline. Let's keep an eye on things. Make sure nobody's going to come running up at me. How about a schematic? What are you? A plastic wrench. A plastic wrench? Is that like a really crappy tool? <laughs> a plastic wrench. That's probably not going to last very long. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, well, come here. Let's see if we can't take you out before you do anything crazy like calling in any of your buddies. There's another ice cream truck over there. Hey! Stop it, man. Hang on. So, oh, don't hit me, dude. Okay, we gotta, we gotta do it. Ready? Pew! Oh, that's fantastic. And he went up. Level 2, baby! Sweet! Let's search the rest of the stuff that's out here, and then we'll go inside and take a look. Okay, so we didn't get a schematic from that. What about you? Do you have one for me? Just some shale. Be a long, long time before I need that, but I appreciate it, I guess. Ooh, passing gas. All right. So <laughs> this, this mod is just silly. And I have heard that it is really hard. It's not just silly, silly. I mean, it's mostly silly, of course, because they change some things around for the goofs and stuff. But it's actually pretty hard. Ooh, a headlight schematic. Well, that's fantastic. Gas, oil, and repair kits. Not a horrible thing to find. Uh, let me see. Just in case... I don't think there's any zombies inside the the uh, trader areas, but it probably wouldn't be a horrible idea to hang on or to be ready just in case, you know. So we'll do some looting in here, see if we can find anything good. Maybe some actual tools. Pipes aren't bad. Maybe some maybe some coffee. Lock picks, nice. Come on, coffee. No, no, that that's pre coffee. Maybe some drinks in here, and some cat food, nice. And some pa oh nice. All right, so we got a beer. I'm not going to drink that just yet. Let's see, cat food. I want to make sure that there's not any 20% chance of dysentery. Oh, that's just terrible. Okay, so we've kind of gone along the lines of the way the mods or the game used to be here, where some of these cans will make you crap yourself. If you you know just canned food is not so bueno. That's not good. I mean, you help out a little bit. I, you help out a lot with food and health and stuff. Stamina bonus 50%. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. Can I take... Ooh, I can take you. <laughs> that's something I've been wanting to do in the standard vanilla, you know, regular old series for freaking ever. Wait, is there any... Can I search you? I can. Uh-oh. Oh, there was a small little lag spike. Uh, for some plastic parts. I'm not going to worry... Uh, okay, skeleton dude out there. More gasoline. Nice. Can stock up on gas. If nothing else, I can sell it. It'll be a while before I get anything where I can use that. Uh, beefcake! We're not going to need any sneak damage. Pew. <laughs> Pew. That is so cool. Pew. I wonder what happens when you run out. 
Nope. Kyle? That ain't Kyle, that's Owen. What are you doing, man? Stay down. Beefcake! Hold on, I'm out of stamina. Leave me alone for just a second. That's a skeleton that's in here. Hey, man. How about no? <laughs> Y'all stop. I'm going to have to walk on top of the fence here. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. I'm out of stamina. I'll just hang on for a second here. Oh, these early game stamina usage is terrible. It's so slow, and I don't have enough nails to use my handgun exclusively yet. We gotta take out Beefcake. We gotta stop using so much freaking stamina on our power attacks. He says right before using a power attack. Alright, stand up. Take it like a man. Or a woman, I guess. You are a skeleton. You can go either direction. <laughs> Those are so cool. Ooh, actual water. I'll go ahead and use that. Surely that won't give me the Trotskys. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Okay, I'm trying to keep an eye out. Since I don't know this new layout of the way the PO is, I'm trying to make sure I loot everything just in case I get anything really good. I don't know what kind of... Ooh, blue's good. And the trophies I can sell. Some bricks. Ooh, chemistry station. How about a schematic? Free wood's always good. Can't complain about that. So some of the, the art assets that are laying on the ground I don't necessarily recognize, so I'm not entirely sure what I can take. Some arrowheads, I won't be able to do anything with those. Let's see what's in the garage. Ooh, vending machine. Okay, give me the schematic. Just give it to me. Okay, that's not at all what I'd ask for. Thank you. Thank you, though. Duct tape and more nails. Nice. Again, since we can use nails as ammo now, that's actually not a bad thing to find. Nothing up there. I'm going to check your... It. it goes all right. How are you doing, sir? Wine barrel. I remember back in... I think it was 18. Hang on. I need to... Wait, how did the skeleton get in? I didn't leave the gate open. Oh, he made a door right there. Okay. Since this base has very little durability... Now, hey, come over here. Here, I'll help you out, sir. Oh, it's because there's a sign there. Thug. That's Skeletor. Get the name right. That's disrespectful. Whoopsie. Uh, okay, I, the, I need to keep an eye on the time, too, because we still got to be able to find ourselves a place to live. Ooh. Hold on. While you're laying down, I'm going to check out some more water. I need to make a campfire. I don't... Ow! I need to make a campfire so I can cook up some of this water I have, but I'm probably going to need a cooking pot for it. Stick your head through here, man. Okay. You finish beating down the sign. One more. There we go. Now you can just lay down. Was there anything in there? Nope. Okay, I'm trying to do something. Can you leave me alone for a second? Okay, I got you. I got you. Let's see if there's anything good on here. Paper. Meh. More lock picks. I hear something that sounds like it's moving fast. Hang on. I'm trying to make sure I'm not in danger. Oh, it's just Lois. She's all right. I wonder if the Karens are the gigantic screamer looking chicks here. No, 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 no. I don't want to talk to you just yet. I mean, I do. Ammo case. Let's see. A little bit of ammo. Uh, I want to see what I can loot of yours first. Nice. Die. Ooh, I can sell those. Can I reach that one? I could probably just get in there. Did you make me any coffee? You did! Oh, nice! You made me some coffee. Look at that. You're fantastic, sir. Okay, this is going to be... I, I got to do it. Please don't give me the Trotskys. Oh, thank you. I'm encumbered. It's okay. Uh, and let's drink some coffee. Thank you, sir, for the cool stuff. I, I bet I could get in that door. Hang on. Lois! Oh, yeah. Could you stop? I'm trying to make a deal here. You're going to call in all your friends over here, and then we're both going to be in trouble. Get up. Stop beating on the fence. This is not my place. Thank you. All right. Is this unlocked? No. Of course not. Uh, let's see. Uh, are you bulletproof? Yes, you are. Are you... You're just wood. I might be able to beat in this way. I want to get behind you because there's stuff back over there I kind of want to see. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Okay. Here, how about we sell some stuff to you real quick? Well, you really don't have anything. You, you don't really have any money for me today. That's not cool. 
All right, well, uh, let's see. Do you have any weapons that don't suck? Nails. At this point, it would kind of be kind of useful. I mean, I've got 12 of them. Let's see if we've got anything in the secret stash here. I mean, I've only got $256. That's I, I'm not going to be buying anything great. Water? Water ammo? Is there like a water gun? A rocket nuke. Ooh. That's so cool. Oh, there's stuff and lots of things. Can I buy? I can't buy you either. Okay, so I literally can't afford anything. Do you have any food on you that doesn't suck here? Let, let me. That's the wrong one. Gore? No. Pooberry pie. Wrecked nuts. Food health. A little bit of dysentery. <laughs> you come back sometime. I probably will. All right, we need to find some place to call home. Do you have any food in here that don't suck? That's peach pops, can of peas. That's twenty percent. Let me see. Premium dog food. That does better than the other stuff. Pumpkin spice iced coffee. That's not too... I'm going to buy some iced coffee. Some chicken soup. No. Uh, lamb rations. Dang it. Everything has a dysentery um, option here. Red wine. Okay. How about we just save that? We need to find ourselves a place to call home for the night. We need to keep an eye on things. We never even got to finish searching that because the epic Karen was running around. Or I'm assuming that's her. Uh, I'm just going to leave your door open just in case anybody else needs in there. Hang on. Let me go ahead and do a repair on you and a repair on you while I can. All those cabinets is a little bit dicey. The junkyard might not be a horrible place to call home for the first night. Okay, I've got some arrows, so maybe we can get some sneaky damage in there. Hello? Somebody's stomping around. Okay, you can just keep stomping around doing your thing over there. Anything in the register? Uh oh, is that Carl? That's not good. That's not good. We already got a Carl to deal with. Oh, God. This is not going to go well. Oh, my God. Carl has a lot of life. We don't have much stamina here. Nope, sir. Here. Don't do it. Okay, so shooting from the hip with the handgun's not a good idea. Oh, my God. Did he just throw a chick? Wait a second. Hang on. It's a rage cock. There's a rage cock coming after me. Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed by a freaking chicken. <laughs> oh my god. Puke on your friend here. You missed. Oh my god, this is just comical, dude. There's a freaking flying chicken trying to kill me here. Ow! Oh, that's not good. Missed. Get out of my face, you dumb cock. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Uh-huh. Okay, we gotta try and take out Carl. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Reload! Uh-oh, reload! Reload! Oh, we got him before he exploded. Whew. Apparently reloading a handgun, <laughs> a finger gun, takes a couple seconds. <laughs> That's just crazy, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, health is okay. Not fantastic. But not absolutely terrible. Now who's... Okay, so it's just Owen over there. Dang, beefcake. I need to put some more love into my strength category here so I can do some work on these heavy chunkies. Hang on, I'm out of stamina. You're gonna have to wait a minute. I'll tell you what. Oh, that does a decent amount of damage. Level 3, baby. Okay, that softened him up a smidge. Night shot. All right, well, the junkyard's a little bit on the sketchy side. I uh, don't have hardly any first aid stuff, so I don't want to waste it on the one thing I, you know, the one I do have wasted just yet. <laughs> Can't believe a flying cock almost, you know, had our number here. Ooh, first aid, come on. Just a bandage would be good. That works. That works. I will take you. Recog's okay, and I'll take that just in case there's some blood damage. And I just realized I'm naked. I don't. I didn't. Let me see. I've picked up a little bit of fiber stuff, but I didn't. I have not. <laughs> Tell you what. Let's put the let's put the black in there for the bow. I might as well, right? Hang on. We still got plenty of time, so don't y'all worry. I'm not cashing it in just yet here. What gore? Does that do anything? Smelly, slimy, and not very sanitary used to make some items or throw it in the advanced forge to make forged gore. Forged gore. That sounds lovely. Some acids, more iron. Toilet with 
Thank you, water. And, ooh, nice. Oh, that's two good things right there. Uh, let me see. I can just wear you. Is that the refrigerator I hear humming? Okay, it is. I thought something mechanical was coming out there. Okay, so I need to make some, probably at least some fiber clothes. Uh, let's see. I can make fiber pants takes five and a fiber shirt takes five. I can do that. So at least I'm not running butt naked around here. I can get some more fiber, obviously, but I can at least put these on. So there. Now, <laughs> I am just absolutely spiffy looking. Spiffy is the right word. Okay. Uh, how about we get a little bit more fiber real quick. While we're literally standing here, and we can get as much of it as we want. Oh, I saw the flag shadow rippling over there. I thought something was coming at me real quick. So let's get at least a little bit of this stuff right here so we can get some more clothes on us. Oh my god, I can't believe we've spent this entire day running around naked. Fiber clothes provide, like, no protection armor-wise or anything, but... Now who's doing... Okay. Okay. All right, let me make some fiber shoes. Those are those would be a plant fiber shovel. Oh, I guess that's just the normal level of shovel stuff. Okay, so I can wear you and let's see some gloves. Okay, what am I missing now? I think I have everything I need. I don't have any armor on or anything, but at least I'm not completely naked. So that's that's kind of a start, right? <laughs> Good lord, this mod is just goofy. I like it. I had a lot of people actually recommend I play this. I guess because some of you guys like my sense of humor. And I'm really thankful for that, too. I, I'm, I'm quite thankful that you guys like my style of humor. It's just, well, if you didn't, you wouldn't be here watching all the videos. One nail. Um, but I do appreciate that. It's always nice when you guys can recommend something you think I'll have fun with and can make it entertaining. All right, sir. I will put some points into some skills here in just a bit no sir nope we missed ah oh, we missed again stop being stupid all right so we got two skill points to use i should probably put one into strength kind of get this one up a little bit more i can't put i need you into level three uh, let me see strength is probably going to be the way to go to start with I can't, it's probably going to be the way to go to start with. I'll regret it later, of course, and wish that I had put it in some other things. Free wood. Uh, I don't need any of you. You don't even really sell for that much. I think for tonight, I may end up sleeping in the junkyard here. Because I've already got it kind of cleared. I just realized that my dude kind of yelps like a, a female voice when he jumps. And I don't know why. That, that's a, Ooh, some bellows? Well, nice. All I need is a house and a forge, and I'm good to go. <laughs> this game is nuts. What? Oh, what the sh... Oh, my God. Big kitty. What the hell? That's not a big... Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. Feral house cat killed us. Oh, my God. <laughs> we died by a feral house cat. <laughs> it just... It was a little bobcat. <laughs> or a little mountain lion, I mean. Oh, my God. Hey, we didn't put down a bedroll. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, I think I had don't drop anything on death here. Yeah, I think that was the defaulted to don't drop anything on death. Okay, well, where did it put us in relevance to... Okay, so way over there. That's fantastic. So, how about we look around and see if... Oh, there's another snail. Well, the don't drop anything on death is okay. I cannot believe we got killed by a house cat. Now, granted, it's just a tiny mountain lion, and those things are rough. Ooh, that's a chunk of rocks right there. Uh, let me see. I could probably make some more arrows. Clear up a little bit of space here. Plastic arrows? Wait. Plastic tipped arrows. Ammunition for a bow. Hold real... Wait. Are they any better than the stone arrows? I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Okay, well, we're going to end up... We need to find a, a house. Uh, let me see. Oh, we don't have a death marker on the thing here. Okay, so we, well, let's start going this way. See if we can find a place to hang out for the night. See, that's why I didn't want to put a uh, permadeath on this series. Because, well, we would have been a little bit SOL very early on. Nice, we got an egg. Now, I don't know all the... I, like I said in the very beginning, I don't know all the stuff that's been added and or changed as far as like recipes... So I don't know 
if I'm going to be able to make like a bacon and eggs very early on, or if that's something that you do have to have a recipe for. Where in the hell am I at? All right. What the F is that? Oh my God. Hang on. Hold on, we, we gotta go see. That is a bull. What the hell? Moo Tal Derp. What, hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What the sweet hell is this thing? Who? 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 <laughs> what? I don't know. The people who made this, everybody involved with that, you're absolutely wonderful. But I gotta say, you gotta be smoking something good because what in the sweet hell is that cow? I don't even know. Uh, we gotta have to find ourselves a POI or we're gonna have to jump stack into a tree or something just to stay safe for the night before we get completely eaten. We're running out of time. We got two hours before nighttime. Uh, that's a block of iron. There's some steel. That's lead. That's steel. Or iron, I should say. Uh, we may end up having to sleep on top of a hill. Reminds me of the very first uh, seven days that I Alpha 1. It's like you spent the first night a lot of times and second night and third night too just like camped out on top of a hill and hoping for morning. This is some crazy crap here, man. Uh? What? Hang on. What the? Okay, um... I got some nitrate powder and a bunch of gore. That's interesting. There was legs sticking. Oh my god, what is this tree here? It's a pla is it a plastic tree? Because I'm getting plastic for it. Craft and place a workplace hazard sheet. Craft, gather paper and gather paint. Did I, hang on, did I, am I getting in here advanced survival? Oh. Oh, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest and I'm sure some of you already noticed. I did not realize that there was a completely different set of quests and stuff over here going on. So I need, actually have some stuff to do. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, looks like there's a thing or two over here. This might be heading, whoa, calm down. This might be heading back into the town we just died in. Let me see. Uh, it's going to be the outer regions of that. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll grab, some, I'll grab some cotton. Something else I can turn it in some cloth. Maybe I can make some cloth clothes or something. I don't know. Who knows what recipes are still in here. Okay, well, let's see if we can't find a place over here to call home for the night. Sub Tom. Swing. My turn. Night shot. It's a horrible way to go out, man. It's a horrible way to go out. Okay, so we have definitely seen some stuff here. We've seen skeletons. We saw a 10 foot tall screamer dude or screamer chick running around. I'm guessing it's Karen, you know, causing a ruckus and just probably going to make life miserable for anybody involved. Uh, Moo Tao Beast, Bessie, maybe? Are you regular food? Hang on. Okay, so you don't see me. Shh. Oh, hell. Ow. Don't die by cow. Don't die by cow. Oh, crap. I suffered an abrasion. Where's... Here, here, use this. Stop the bleeding. Guys, did y'all see that cow attack me? This is not good. This is going to be a very rough series. We probably shouldn't start randomly attacking animals when you don't know what they do. I don't know why, but maybe I just assumed that if I hit the cow, it was going to run away. All right, let's see if we can't get a 1600 experience. That's a lot. Okay. Um, wait a second. Hold on. Is this not... Is this doing anything? Okay, so I'm getting experience, and I'm getting stuff, but the bar's not going down. I wonder if it's just glitch like it kind of is in the single-player game. I got a dang abrasion. Uh, maybe if I do... Okay, killing cows is not a horrible thing. 
It's not a great thing, but it's not a horrible thing. All right, I wonder if I could hang out inside here tonight. There's nothing in there, but... Okay, we're going to be running into the everything's going to run at you phase pretty soon. Well, we got a small little house over here. Maybe we could call home. Sylvia, what's up? Oh, I would have loved it if the mods would have officially named her Sylvia. That would have been fantastic for me. And then for anybody else who calls her the wrong names, well, you'll figure it out eventually. A couple more feathers. Might as well go ahead and chop you down. Get as many as possible. I could probably start using my bow a little bit more to uh, kill some of these idiots that are running up on me. I at least have a decent chunk of arrows now. All right, let's see if we can get in here. This was a small POI. Uh, we need to get... Uh, I'll, take, I'll take that. Who that? It's the skeleton. Let's look around over here. Okay. Rawr. Bow? You're a stinky bow. You need a bath, man. Oh, great. Edgar's coming over here, too. I need y'all to leave me alone, because I need to... Uh-oh. I heard a cowbell. Uh, yeah, I see you over there. Uh, I can't come mess with you right now, cow. The last time I did, it almost caused an end to the day. <laughs> an end to my life. We already died once by a cat. I don't want to die by another cow. Okay, well, let's see if we can't get up in here and clear this spot out real quick. Maybe we can call it home for at least one night. Good to go. Check the shop. Tweaker dude. That's creepy. Lois? Oh, hang on. Don't hit me. Nobody hit me. Uh oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh, crap. It's dark. We, you got it. no time here. Oh, damn. <laughs> they went and kicked my butt, man. <laughs> nice. Well, at least I got all my stuff, so I'm going to try and find my body back. That's kind of useful. Okay, well, here's a gas station. It's Hey, it's right next to the trader. I think that's where the trader is, right? Yep, there's trader dude right there. So maybe we can get inside and hang out with him tonight. I originally was going to try and find a house of my own, but I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but I've kind of sucked. I've died by... Well, we've had two deaths so far. That's fantastic. We have no... <laughs> I did not mean to put it there. Put you back in there. Okay. We have a torch. We can hang out here for the night. This ought to be nice and safe. We'll get up here. We should be safe. Oh my god, I cannot believe this day. Okay, well, I'm going to sort through some inventory. I'm not going to call the trader home. I'm going to try to sort through some of my inventory, get a little bit less encumbered, repair a couple things, kind of get a little bit better lay of the land here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun with this. So if you did, do me a favor and like, leave a like on the video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, of course. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you later.